Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sebastian, I'm a Christian and I love Muslims. Today I want to share a story with you. Two men went to the Friday prayer in the masjid to pray. The first one was a very successful and handsome man. He was wearing his finest jalabaya and he went to perform the wudu. He did everything with perfection and he was very satisfied about himself. Then he went into the prayer room and he was ready to pray. The second man, he was late. He had been working the whole morning in the street picking up trash and he had a knee problem so he couldn't walk so fast to the masjid and now he was late. He went to perform the wudu, but he couldn't do it so well because of his knee problem. And since he was late, there was no one to help him. He decided to go for the prayer anyway, and he found a chair and he put it in the corner so no one could smell him from where he was sitting. Then the prayer started. The first man wearing his nice delapea, he was praying and as he was praying, he was thinking, thank you God, I am such a good religious person. I pray five times a day. I perform the Hajj, I fast in Ramadan, I give zakat and Alhamdulillah, I'm not like that smelly man over there. Then the second man, he was praying as he was sitting on his chair and he was saying to God, God, please forgive me. I'm a sinner. I need your mercy. I need you in my life. Then the Friday prayer ended and everyone went to their homes. Now, which one of these two persons would you think was accepted by God? Actually, it was the second one. The man who was praying for forgiveness. The first one, he was just thinking about how good he was and he was not even focusing on God. But the second one, he was humbling himself before God, asking for forgiveness. This story is actually not completely my own. It's inspired by a story of Jesus. You can read it in the Gospel of Luke chapter 18 in the Bible. Jesus, he loved to spend time with the sinners with the wicked people, with the prostitutes, with the thieves, with the murderers. And he loved them and he ate with them and he spent time with them. And when he loved them, it changed their lives. The religious people got so angry with Jesus when he was eating with the sinners. But Jesus has a very special love for all kinds of people. Let me read from the Gospel of Luke chapter 5 in the Bible. The Pharisees and their scribes started complaining to Jesus' disciples, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? But Jesus answered them, Healthy people don't need a physician, but sick people do. I have not come to call righteous people, but sinners to repentance. So Jesus, he wants to spend time with you and me. He wants to show you how much he loves you and he wants his love to change your life from the inside and out. When you accept his love, when you understand that he loves you on your worst days, it changes your life and you become a free person. He loves you and he wants to spend time with you. Thank you for watching this video and hearing this story. Please share it and follow Albishara on Facebook and YouTube. God bless you. Bye.